Hi everybody, I'm Tanya Richard. I am the General Manager for Dining Services. And the most beautiful sound that I hear is the waves crashing. And I love it. It's serene and beautiful and it calms me down. That's it. Have a good day. Hi, I'm Chaplain Eileen and I wanted to talk today about the most beautiful uh, sound to me. And I think it's the sound of a baby or a child laughing. And I think um, I love it so much because it's filled with joy and you want to just laugh along. And also just I think children should be happy and should be joyful. So it always makes me feel um, happy to hear them. I'm Christine Konechny, the Director of Life Enrichment at Carroll Lutheran Village. I think the most beautiful sound in the entire world is the sound of laughter. It shows the people are happy, and there's nothing better in life than to be happy. Hi, my name is Sally Adams. I work at the Wellness Center, and I'm supposed to say what my favorite or most beautiful sound is, but I think that's a complicated thing for me to do because I have more than one. I love the sound of bird song. I love the sound of the rain beating on a tin roof. I like the sounds of waves crashing on the shore. I like the sound of the freight train rolling through town with its four-part harmony. I like the sound of rumbling thunder in the summertime. And I love the sound of stillness in the high desert. So those are a few of my favorite sounds. And aren't you glad you asked me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Liz Horn, Director of Social Work here at Carroll Lutheran Village. And the most beautiful sound to me would be that of my brand new grandson, four weeks old, my first grandchild, uh, who um, unfortunately I've yet to hold in the COVID time. I've uh, seen at a distance twice, and that is why the sound is his cooing, baby cooing. Hard to describe it, um, but it sounds um, like he's trying to communicate. It sounds like he's either comfortable and happy, or he's trying to tell his mom and dad what it is that he needs. Uh, I am holding on to every video they send, to, especially those ones where he is cooing. Uh, and I am enjoying FaceTime where I can hear him. So right now that has to work until we're able to hold him and feel him and smell him. So right now the most beautiful sound is that little grandson. His name is Lewin Cooing. Hi, my name is Kendall Shipley and I work in the finance department and I work in accounts payable, so paying all the bills, everybody's favorite. And the most beautiful sound to me is laughter, um, especially kind of nowadays because laughter to me is just you get to hear somebody else's joy and to me that always makes me smile. Hi, I'm Tracy Raymond, the program manager of Divin House Assisted Living. My favorite sound would have to be nature at night. I love sitting outside under the moonlight near a crackling fire, listening to the frogs and the bugs singing in harmony. It's so peaceful and reminds me of a life beyond my own. My name is Chaplain Stacy Grady and I serve LSMMD as the Director of Church Relations. The most beautiful sound in the world to me is the sound of my dad's voice. I think it is the most beautiful sound to me because growing up, he was the only male voice in a home of three women, and so he was often muted in our home. But now, as a grown woman, I call my dad every day to hear his sound because it brings me peace and it brings me calm. It often brings me good counsel. It always brings me love. Hi, I'm Jess Andrews. I'm the Director of Resident Life. And the most beautiful sound to me is the sound of the coffee pot in the morning. 
I love hearing that it's done and I can begin my day with my caffeine. Hi, I'm Jamie Hahn, Marketing Coordinator here at Carroll Lutheran Village. My favorite sound is raindrops hitting the roof. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Henry, Executive Director here at Carol Lutheran Village, and I've been asked what the most beautiful sound is, and I can answer that in a number of different ways, but the, 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 the easiest, I think, is recently, in the last couple months, I've noticed a different sensitivity to certain sounds, and I have a feeling it has to do with stress, it may have to do with, you know, long hours, who knows? The things that we all have been going through Perhaps it's just about appreciating smaller things more because what I've been appreciating is a kind of silence um, where one hears the wind in the trees and more than that, bird calls. It's quiet enough to hear bird calls clearly and bird calls for some reason have begun to be almost musical to me almost sound like musical instruments. And I actually will stop. <laughs> I, I'm starting to hear them and I stop and I listen and I'm just going, that is amazing. So, I don't know where that's coming from. It's very new. Like I say, in the last couple of months. I've always enjoyed bird songs, but it's almost like I'm hearing it like somebody's playing a musical instrument. And I enjoy it very much. <laughs>